we are counting one to fifty we are counting one to fifty we are counting one to fifty and this is how we do it how are you grade threes it's a teacher annunciator welcome to easy elimu learning simplified we have done numbers we did numbers one to ten one to twenty one to thirty 1 to 40, 1 to 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, up to 100. But today I just want to help you understand how do we read these numbers. There are those numbers that are formed from tens. For example, we have the number 0, have the number 10, have the number 20, we have the number 30, we have the number 40, and we have the number 50. 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. So when you're saying we are counting 1 to 20, normally the number starts with a 0. And we said all these numbers that have a 0 are tens. All these numbers that have a 0 are what we call the tens apart from 100. 100 is not a 10. 100 is just a 100, not a 10. So when you talk about the numbers that have a 10, basically you take the number that starts with that number. For example, if I'm supposed to make a number after 10, the normal numbers here are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. These are the main numbers. These are the main numbers that help us to create the other numbers. So when you're given these numbers like this and you're told, write this number, write numbers. You've been told one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you've been told now, create numbers one to a hundred using the main numbers. I'm only going to be doing the two or three examples, then you finish for yourself. So what will happen here? I will come to these numbers. The first number here is 10. So which means all these numbers that are appearing on this line of 10. It is this 10 plus 1, this 10 plus 2, 10 plus 3, 10 plus 4, 10 plus 5. So what is 10 plus 1? 10 plus 1 is 11. 10 plus 2, 12. 10 plus 3 it is 10, 11, 12, 13. You get 13. So you will fill in those remaining numbers. We did them, okay? What happens here? We have now reached 20. Remember the last, last number here will be 19. So after 19, you come to which number? 20. Ask yourself again, what happens here? All these numbers in the 20, they will be 20 plus 1. We remember we are using the main numbers. So you'll say 20 plus 1, which will give us? 21, 20 plus 2, 22, 20 plus 3, 23. Then you fill in the remaining numbers. We come again to 30. Remember the last number there will be, yes, Janet, 29. So when you come to 30, what normally happens? All the numbers in this line will be 30 plus the main number, 30 plus the main number, 30 plus the main number. So when I add 30 plus 1, I get a 31, plus 2, I get a 32, plus 3, and 33. So continue like that and fill in the missing numbers. What about these numbers? 40. All the same. 40 plus the main number which is 1 becomes a 41, becomes a 42, a 43. So continue filling in the missing numbers so that we want to reach 100. Are people are still writing? Continue, continue, continue so that by the time I'm on 100 it should also be done. When I come to this number, it is 50. So what happens again? 50 plus the main number, 50 plus 1, 51, plus 2, 52, plus 3, 53. Good, continue. Very nice. We come to 60, the same thing. We are taking 60 plus the main number, which is 61. 60 plus 2 gives you 62. 60 plus 3 gives you 63. So you will realize that all the numbers that has the main number as 1, they must end with a 1. All the numbers that have a main number as 2, they all end with 2. 
all the numbers that have a 3, they must end with 3. So what will happen on 4, 5, 6, and 7? With the help of your parents, I want to see this work well done at home, okay? So that tomorrow we'll be able to read the numbers and check for those who missed out any numbers. And when you write your numbers like this, it becomes very easy because you are not likely to miss any number out or skip any number. Because if you skip any number, your numbers here, the second number will change. Anytime you skip a number, the second number will do what? The second number will change. So people will be able to write until they reach. What will be the last number here? The last number here will be 99. So all these numbers on this side must end with a 9. These ones must end with an 8. This one must end with a 7. This one must end with a 6. This one must end with a 5. And this one must end with a 4. And you'll now have written your numbers and read them nicely from numbers 1 to 100. Teacher, that is very easy. In fact, you've given us a trick on how to write the numbers. You see? Even if you skip out a number, you will realize because a 2 cannot fit where 3s are. A 4 cannot fit where 3s are. A 5 cannot fit where 6 are. And you continue like that. All the numbers, even if it comes to 1,000, to 100, to 200, to 300, it will be the same. And we have said, always use the main numbers. And here our main numbers are tens up to 90. So we have reached 100 as our last number for today. Tomorrow we want to explore more numbers that are more than 100. Any problem? Any question? Teacher, it is just okay, very fine. Good. Take this home. With the help of your guidance, copy the numbers neatly, very well. And remember, this number is in the ones place value. Have you seen I've written it on my right hand? Don't write it on the left hand. Because when you move it on this side, it now changes the number completely. The main number is in the ones place value. The main number is in the ones place value. The main number is in the ones place value. The threes, are we together? Is that okay? Wow, nice to see you. And I hope you will also join in the next lesson as we explore more numbers more than 100. Thank you.